most recently, um, I was personally, I have to say for the first time in, in 11 years doing this, there was a moment where the story, the story, the, the, the story just transcended even the sport. It, 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 it became more of a, a personal, where I actually, where I actually, um, had a connection with the story and it was with the, the, just the, de the, the, the deplorable Penn State story. Um, when bits and pieces of the story were initially breaking, you know, it, there was a, a week, a week where I, a week and a half where I just, I went with no sleep. I mean, it was constantly breaking news, whether it was the, the more the victims, uh, coming out or whether it was more details about Jerry Sandusky, whether it was uh, the actual students rioting uh, at Penn State, whether it was Joe Paterno making any sort of official statement. I mean, it was Joe Paterno burped and we were covering it. I mean, it was, it was insane. But then when it really, really hit me and it was, it was, it was, it was more, it, 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 it far exceeded even just reporting the story. It was more about dealing with the human condition and, um, on our morning show, we we discussed just just how disgusting we thought the acts were, and how it was it wasn't even about football anymore. It was about these kids' lives that were being ruined. And I remember leaving that morning, um, checking my inbox at work, my emails, and I was getting emails from sexual abuse victims who were emailing me um, their personal stories that. They never even shared with their own parents. And I say that to you now and I, I, I still get chills, but here were victims without a voice that had one through a sports story.